Hey guys, Mars Singer here bringing you a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we're going to be jumping into the first stage of the new set of Universe Survival Saga Supreme Magnificent Battle aka the Blue Zone. Uh, the first stage is against Master Roshi. Um, we're going to go in with the Super Bosses team. I'm not expecting right, this to be particularly difficult. Um, in fact, I could bring up the um, stats for Roshi because obviously it's kind of like anything with these events where with the red zones when they come out and things like that the first stage is always going to be you know not too crazy um although i guess actually he uh the first phase against tn and roshi their super attack hits for 1.5 mil and stuns um and then master roshi in phase two is 2.25 million so i mean they can hit decently hard um i want to have broly and the goku black and the broly trio together so i want to keep you here and then have Goku Black in the middle. We can get eight orbs for him, which is pretty good. Uh, we can't get... Okay, there you go. We can get two rainbow orbs for physical Rosé. Um, they don't have a ton of health bars, so I wouldn't expect this to be super difficult. But there's also no missions for this stage. Uh, very typically, like, we have a bunch of missions from the main menu and in the actual event menu for this uh, new set of stages. But none of them apply to stage one. So there's no restrictions for whatever team you want to bring, uh, whatever units you want to use, um, you can get this done. The only mission is for just beating the stage for the first time. Um, so we can't apply, as far as I can remember, there's no attack uh, debuffs or anything, defense, sealing, stunning. I think they can be sealed in the second phase. Um, but we can't do anything in the first phase here, which is fine. Um, got things under control. They stunned Golden Freezer in slot one, but I mean, Realistically, Freezer's on the rotation only ever to do to be a support unit, to give support. So him getting stunned in slot 1 is definitely not the end of the world. I've only just realised though, do we have a Broly in slot 7 or are they both on turn 2? They're both on turn 2, yeah, because the Broly trio in slot 7. That's kind of awkward, because ideally I would like to set up the double Broly rotation, but I guess we'll do this instead. So it means we probably, by the time we've beaten the event, we probably won't end up getting the double Brody rotation anyway but we'll go ahead and set this up here um zamasu can tank nicely enough on turn one even against some of these tougher bosses and then if he gets stunned it's not really the end of the world um he's still building up his passive by getting hit whereas obviously the Brolies are stacking attack we really want them to be getting their supers off and plus you know even with guard like Brolies not really a slot one unit so the less attacks he has to take in uh, before he's super in any scenario is always for the best. So we just have the two Brolies together like this. Float one of them off. The one in slot three gets an extra super from being in slot three anyway. The reason why I floated off the friend is because the friend is rainbow and mine is 90%. So, you know, if you... The way I look at it when it comes to stackers is the one who has the least dupes is obviously the one that ideally you want to get the most stacks for. So, therefore, they're the one you shouldn't flow off, right? Because then you get more turns with them on rotation. So, my Broly here getting some decent attack build up. And then uh, the friend Broly, obviously no links active. But the fact that he's still able to hit like a 7.2 mil um, with no links active is pretty good. So, and then obviously, I mean, drop down to 5 on the uh, 12 key super, but it's all good. We'll get the rotation sorted out. We'll probably just end up maybe floating this Broly again. But, like I said, I don't know if we'll have time to set up the double Broly rotation. Of course, the Broly's here not critting in their base form um, is keeping the uh, stage going a little bit longer. So, that's kind of beneficial for us in terms of actually getting our rotations fixed uh, and getting some extra stacks for these guys. So, everything going fairly well here so far. But yeah, the Universe Survival Saga uh, Blue Zone, the fact that this is out on Global so quickly is kind of crazy because you think it wasn't that long ago, really, that we got the last two stages for the anniversary one. Um, so Global is just jumping, like, from content to content, like, so quickly here, which is, in a way, it's good for us as the players to have so much stuff to do. But, like, it's kind of funny, like, the Blue Zone being a new thing, like, has really not even had a chance to, like, settle in and be... Uh, you know played a whole bunch of a whole bunch of different teams um i've gone back in and done a few different runs of some of my favorite teams but it's one of those things the event doesn't feel like it's been around for a long time you think like 
when we had the big meta change with the red zone originally coming out for the 7th anniversary, it was quite a long time until we had another event come out that was as difficult. Um, and so on global, the fact that this has come out like weeks, only a couple of weeks after the blue uh, Gogeta and Beast Gohan stages of the um, superhero blue zone, it's kind of crazy. But it's also funny to me that stages are being reused because they're superhero and universe survival saga. So like there's a stage versus blue evolution Vegeta and a stage versus UI Goku, which we just had from the uh, superhero one as well. At least if my, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure when we mentioned that on the podcast, Minato either agreed or I just misunderstood what he said. But yeah, I know there's a blue evolution one at least, which is funny because blue evolution uh, Vegeta is stage four of the uh, super bosses one. Uh, Superhero one, but um, I think we can. We'll probably get away with putting you in slot one again. I guess we are going to get a chance to set up the um, the Brody rotation here, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll grab those for you, so you at least get a Rainbow Orb, and then give you those. Brody gets enough key in slot three anyway, so it's not like it really matters too much. Um, but yeah, these guys have super attacked in slot one fairly regularly. Obviously, the Broly trio having the guaranteed dodge kind of helps us out there. Um, I mean, Zamasu taking 320k on the second turn here is kind of crazy, considering he has Big Bad Bosses active. Um, so, I mean, yeah, these guys, obviously not as hard as some of the tougher events that we're now getting used to on Global, but, yeah, 1.5 mil from their super. A lot of units now are getting up to like well over a million defense from uh, their super attack effects and stuff like that so as long as you're on full hp um a lot of these teams in these situations uh, you're not going to get one shot by the super and then as long as everybody else on the rotation is able to get relatively decent raw defense then you'll be tanking normals obviously some of these bosses have the crazy effects like raising their own attack on super which then makes tanking the normals a little bit more difficult after they've supered but for something like this, um, I feel like this is one of those stages, the early ones, right? Where it's like, as long as you have, I would say, I don't want to say any, because some of them are a bit outdated now, but any of the solid, like, 200% teams, um, you shouldn't struggle too much with the early stages. And obviously, if you're somebody who did pull Beast Gohan during your anniversary summons, or maybe somebody who pulled Tech UI Goku today, and you have the six-year LRs with the AZAs and everything, um, you definitely won't struggle with these uh, early stages, which is good. So, Broly only getting the additional normal here. So, we still have to deal with one more turn. Um, I really don't want Goku Black to eat a super in slot one, as much as I would like him to get more build up here. So, I think we just go ahead and do this. Get a decent heal. And then, I'm just going to do this so we can get that AGO all to drop down. All to just contribute towards a little bit of extra HP and the Dokon Gauge uh, progressing a little bit here. But the Broly Trio, seven orbs, guaranteed dodge. I do love this rotation of them with physical Goku Black. You can still get unlucky and not be able to get seven orbs, but for the most part, it's uh, definitely very effective. Plus, you know, if we get into a situation like this where we've killed on this rotation, so now on this next turn, we can try if we need to, depending on what the orb field's looking like set up some orbs um, ahead of time. Um, I mean, I could literally, if I really wanted to, not worry about even using the Broly um, domain. I could do this and like, domain with Zamasu. Um, I might do that just for, I haven't used Zamasu's domain for ages. So let's go ahead and use Zamasu's domain here. Um, we are fighting super type enemies, so. Zamasu's Domain, very useful, because of course Zamasu's Domain increases damage received by superclass enemies and allies by 30%. So pretty significant uh, bit of damage here that we can do to the superclass enemies. Uh, we can get, oh man, there's two physical orbs, but it, uh, two rainbow orbs, but it won't go for the green orbs because of the way Dokon prioritizes key, which is super annoying. So, well it is what it is, but... That means infinite Zamasu can't take damage here in slot one. <laughs> so you try to Mafuba me, but no. It just bounces off my strange grinning sky face. And now I'm going to face Ion Cannon you. 
Infinite Zamasu I am not a fan of in terms of like design, like aesthetically or anything, but obviously this uh, having the actual invincible um, domain mode is kind of funny. Um, and then Rosé, of course. Remember, all of the allies, we're not getting any sort of buff to our attack stat that we can see uh, in the numbers, but the enemy taking more damage obviously means this is going to be uh, very good. Now, we have double Broly rotation coming up. Uh, actually, no. Did I get that set up in the end? Because we've got... Nah, because the other rotation is Broly, Trio, and Goku. So we just don't worry about the Broly. So we're going to have a Broly in slot 3 on the next turn, but... Broly in slot 3 is perfectly fine. He can handle himself well enough, especially with the getting the extra super. His post-super defense is very good, and then he has guard, so definitely can't complain. Frieza giving the 60% attack support to super bosses as well. It's definitely very nice. Um, Alright, so tons of orbs again here. Uh, we can get 8 there or 8 there. I think we grab those. Get the eight physical orbs for you. Because then that allows us to get... Oh, it's only six. I mean, physical Goku Black still could actually kind of sell here if he gets hit with a super. But we'll see how we get on. 14 million for the Broly Trio is good. It's a shame I should have brought somebody on the team that can seal. Because then uh, that would have made this significantly easier. Because he can't be stunned. But he can be defense lowered and sealed. So... Obviously, that would stop him from even being able to super attack physical Goku Black. I mean, if we're lucky, he'll just super attack the Brody Trio here. And then we don't need to worry. But see, now, now I'm concerned. <laughs> 15 mil for Goku Black. Of course he did. Oh, we get the dodge. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how much that would have done. Because post super Goku Black, he hasn't been hit. Well, he didn't have any symbols come up on that last one. So actually, that means he was probably almost fully built up. Would he have lived that super attack? I don't know. It does 2.5. He's going to have like well over a million defense on that turn. But I should have checked his defense after I picked up the orbs. But I think he probably dies to that super. So clutch dodge there from physical Goku Black. And then Broly probably finishes off Roshi here with the additional supers. So... Or not. Well, you know. Infinite Zamasu. Chilling out in slot one. Unable to take damage. And then that's going to be... Uh, all she wrote for Master Roshi. So, I'm not sure what his super attack cooldown is. But he probably can't even super in slot one. Not that it matters. Because we can't actually take any damage anyway. But, but yeah. Interesting to bust out the Sky Zamasu. Um, just having Broly as a flow rod. The Broly Trio and Goku Black rotation still works very, very well. Um, and then Rose is going to be able to finish him off here. Regardless of how many times he actually needs to attack. Should be more than enough to finish off Master Roshi. Um, so there you go. Stage 1 of the new Universe Survival Saga Supreme Magnificent Battle event. Great name. The global translation name. You love to see it. Supreme Battle Spectacle was what it was being called on JP. Obviously, the community fan name is the Blue Zone. But, yeah, first phase of the Universe Survival Saga stage done with the Super Bosses team. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I don't think many people would struggle with this one too much. But let me know what team build you guys used. Whether you use items or not, doesn't really matter. Just let me know what teams you use. If you tried out any fun or random teams, do let us know down below in the comments. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.